Hello and welcome to the third and final day of the Commercial Feeder Championship 2019. We are at the lovely Larford Lakes today with 23 anglers on the match lake and 23 anglers on the specimen lake. This competition is decided on total cumulative weight over three days and the leader going into today is Paul Cook. But with Steve Brindley and Mick Bull hot on his tail, it's going to be a really interesting contest to see who lifts that trophy. Let's go and see how the anglers are getting on. Yeah, uh, pretty good actually. Drew peg 42 on the match lake on uh, first day. That was great peg, tails out the water today against the island. Caught 170 pounds, so that was nice and easy. Um, yesterday drew peg eight on the speci. Probably wanted to be a bit further to the middle, but or well, close to the middle. But I managed to win a 800 pounds. So yeah, good at the minute. Yeah. 64 has always been a good peg, middle of the bank, so I don't really fancy it on what's been caught this week on it, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough to get a few bites. Tactics today, same as the other two days, method, micros, mini boilies. Uh, well, first day I drew peg 10 on the match lake. Uh, I didn't really fancy it, but I managed to catch £75, um, so reasonably happy with that. Uh, managed to win the section, uh, reasonable start, but a long way behind the leaders. Second day, I drew peg 14 on the speci. Had a really nice day. I had nine carp for 134 pound and 36 pound of skimmers. So beautiful day, including a 25 pound uh, common carp. So today I've drawn 14 on the match lake, which I don't really fancy. Uh, I wanted to be anywhere on the speci lake, but we'll try and make the best of it. Uh, tactics today will be same as Monday, which were a small banjo feeder with banoffee wafters, maggots and krill wafters uh, as hook baits and uh, fishery feed pellets as uh, just in a banjo. I think it's a great event. Um, it is interesting because it's done on weight rather than points. Um, so you can still be in it right up to the last day, albeit you might have to catch a big weight on the last day. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I love it and I think it's a great venue. I'll definitely fish it again next year. And uh, personally, I'd like to see Tom run another one here, possibly in the spring around April time. Which uh, it's, it's quite good. I've really I've enjoyed coming again here to Larford. The first day was a bit tricky. I was on peg 66 and I just couldn't get any bites. It was uh, strange. I ended up with... Uh, I think I had six bites all day and ended up with £21. Ironically, Jordan had seven bites and had £90, so that's the way you can go on Specimen Lake. That's fishing, I enjoyed it. Next day I drew peg 50 on a match lake, uh, just over there in front of me, and I had quite a nice day there. I caught a few short, at maybe six metres, some F1s. It went a bit quiet. I had a little chuck around in the middle of the, middle of the uh, lake. And quite nice, I caught a rod, would you believe, uh, on one of the chucks and the lad had lost it on Sunday the day before, or a couple of days before. And after that I caught three carp straight after each other. I reckon the, the rod stirred a bit of, bit of mud up and caught three carp and then an F1. They went quiet and then had some nice uh, carp down the edge at the end and finished with, I think it was £71, second in the section. I think I'm second on that bank, so it was really good. And today a peg four on Specimen Lake. It's going to be a very simple match today. I'm going to fish fairly short uh, with a method feeder, um, probably around about 10 metres. And I'm just going to try and put it down the same hole most of the day. It's a big lake and I, and I, and I want to try and find, get the fish to come to me rather than me searching everywhere. Uh, I'm going to that and, and spend a bit of time down the edge towards the end as well. Oh, it's, this is the second year. I think it's great. You know, I think if it, you know, around about 50 pegs on this, on the two lakes, it's just a smashing event. Nice bunch of blokes. Really enjoyable, good fun, and normally very, very good fishing. So, so far I'm lying fourth at the moment. I've had a couple of uh, nice draws. I've had two end pegs, which is, which is a bit lucky. Um, 62 on Speci the first day. I think I've had 57 pound, I think, but didn't fish as well as I thought it was going to do. I was there two days before that, and, um, and it was brilliant, but yeah, the first day of this um, this this feeder league was was terrible, um, and then yesterday I drew 42 on Match Lake, which won the day before. Admittedly, Paul, the laddie that was on it, said to me that he'd got a lot more room than what I had, and and it what and he said it was 
he said he'd got tails up in his peg all day, which I didn't have, but for the last hour and a half I did and managed to catch 146 pound late, so that was good. I've drawn peg six on Specie today, which in my opinion is the worst peg on this Burbank. I come here a lot, I know it quite well, it hasn't caught 70 pound in two days, but you never know. The weather's really changed dramatically. There was a frost here this morning. Um, not, I, I, I don't know, who, who knows? Fishing's different, isn't it? Fishing, the fish move, the, they swim, and you just don't know where, where we'll fish and where it won't. But in general, the middle of this bank, so from pegs sort of 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, up to 20 are normally the areas. This area hasn't fished, produced at all. So who knows? I'm going to fish method feeder all day because you need to catch carp and um, so I'll have a about a 25 metre line and then start on a sort of a 50 metre line and then maybe go a little bit further if I need to but that's going to be my tactic. The event's really good, uh, 44 anglers on this one this time and I think there was about the same on this one last year as well. Um, 40, 44 feeder anglers, great event, loads of money involved. Shame there's not a few more here, but yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the weather, it's beautiful. And uh, we're in mid-October, so for those of you who are watching, try and join us next year.
first of all, thank you all for supporting the event. Um, it's been uh, very good fishing, I think, for the time of year. And uh, that specimen lake in particular has thrown up some really special fish and some massive weights. Um, so before I do the presentation, it's like a round of applause for the fisheries team. It's been a great day. Day one sections. Um, first of all, we've got Ready Lamb with 59.7. No way. Yeah, really wow. wow. On to the top eight now, and it's been very, very close. Um, yeah, less than sort of five pounds really separating uh, nine from eight. Very, very close. Eighth place, picking up 200 quid with a weight of 215.12. Grant Albert. <laughs> Seventh place, a weight of 221.4, picking up 250 quid, Warren Jennings. <laughs> Sixth overall, a weight of 230 pound two, picking up 300 quid, Jeremy Harrison. <laughs> Up to fifth now, 400 quid, with a weight of 231.8, Martin Edis. <laughs> Very close, between third and fourth, pound in it, I think. Picking up uh, 450 quid with 308.15, Neil McKinnon. <laughs> third overall, a weight of 309.15 and 500 quid for Steve Brindley. <laughs> Second now. £350, 13 ounce, picking up 600 quid, Paul Cook. <laughs> and on to the winner. First overall, what a run this man's having at the venue. A weight of 365.5, picking up 1,000 quid, Mick Paul. <laughs> well, here we are with the 2019 commercial feeder champion, Mick Bull. Mick, what a result. Yeah, it was, yeah. I had a lovely day's fishing. I've been to, I've been on, gone to a peg today, which I didn't think was going to be very good, and some big fish have turned up late and changed my match. It's been um, a real joy to watch, really. I mean, the, the, the interesting thing that I thought was four hours in, say, or certainly three hours in, you were going nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, you were probably over £100 behind Paul Cook. Yeah. It was obviously the leader going into today, yeah. and then Wallop. They've turned up short. Just, just tell yeah. us about your tactics on that line, because you've really clattered the fish when they've turned up. Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've been the only one that's fed that line, that short line, all day, really. Terry next to me, he's just put a feeder on, on it, and that's it, you know what I mean? And, and Stu, the other side of me, fed down his edge. So I just felt I'd got that sort of line to myself. Um, and that's sort of five, six metres? Yeah, five or six metres. I've... I've put feeder after feeder after feeder full of pellets and ground bait in. That's all I fed on that line and um, left it. And with an hour to go, I've had my first look on it and I've caught, I've had two on and they've both come off. So when you know, when you go nowhere, that's really frustrating, isn't it? And then for the next three quarters of an hour, I reckon I've had 120 pound. The incredible thing was, you weighed two fish today for 49 pound, didn't you? Yeah. Just talk to me a little bit about the tackle and hooks and line that you use to land fish of that size so quickly. Well, I use um, six pound main line, uh, a little 10 foot frenzy feeder rod, um, an elasticated feeder, 022 to a QM1, size 12. And what about techniques? I mean, the specimens, you know, they're not usual match size fish. I know, but, they, but these really, really big fish don't seem to, to fly off like, like the smaller fish do. So you know when you've up one that you, you get a bend in your rod and it's just solid and you can just feel them just, try, just nodding, you know what I mean? And, and like, if you can get them swimming your way, you can almost get them in within a minute. And that's what I did, two of them. I broke my landing net handle as well <laughs> in the process of doing it. Well, you can certainly afford to buy a new one now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to touch, Mick, very briefly on your record here at Larford. I mean, I would say the results would suggest strongly you're probably the best angler at this venue and have been for the last sort of couple of three years. What degree does feeder fishing play in the general matches here? Yeah, well, I'd say that, I'd say that especially for the winter fishing, 
you know, the, the, the feeder fishing is more important because mm. obviously they're, when you've got anglers all around the lake, they're, they're towards the middle of the lake. So you can, a lot of people are casting method feeders and catching carp at distance um, and then coming in later and then obviously catching skimmers and what have you on the pole. But feeder does play a big part, but so does everything else here. You know, mm. it's not just about feeder fishing. And I come here a lot, so I know it quite well. Yeah, yeah. One question I do want to ask you. Sorry if I catch you off guard, but you've got no time to lie. What ground bait mix do you use around that method feeder? Well, I use micros. Just micros, no ground bait? No. No? The ground bait, the ground bait mix that I put in my pellets is, um, is Bagum Krill Seeker and uh, XP, like an expander, ground expander, natural. And what's the best thing on the hook? What did you catch them big ones on? Just on boilies, mate. Oh, yeah. All sorts of colours. I can't tell you that I can't tell you that I've caught on pink, all of them on pink because I haven't. Yeah. I've just swapped and changed and caught on everything. But I don't like to put the same bait on twice. But that's just my preference. Do you? Um, I know it's a bit sort of specialist, really. But in terms of hook choice, do you yeah. change your hooks often, or you, you know, when you've caught a fish, are you happy to have another cast for that same hook, or how do, how do you look at it? Because it is like specimen fishing, isn't it? Really. What you mean? Change literally changing yeah. my hook? Yeah. Oh no, I put new hook lengths on the feeders this morning and I've used them all day. Same hook length all yeah, day. So yeah. they have lasted well. Well, I've used, I've, I've had about four or five feeders going. Mm. So obviously there's the, basically the same hook lengths, the so same, I, same hook style, style feeders. But I feeders. haven't caught all my fish on one feeder and one hook length. I've, I've, I've swapped and changed. You had other feeders there ready and just clipped exactly, them on when, yeah, you, when yeah. you're ready to go. Yeah. That makes sense. Mick, it's been an absolutely fantastic performance, a very worthy champion. What are you going to do with the winnings? I don't know. I don't know. I've got a clue. Well, well done, mate, and enjoy them. All right, thanks very much.